symbolizes brightness and prosperity. I request the dignitaries to light up the lamp and start the event. I request Dr. R. Kumada ma'am, Professor and Head of the Department, to present the memento to our Chief Guest. Please ma'am. The first session of a workshop is about advanced technique in RMC manufacturing and use of blended cement by engineer N. G. Murli uh, chairman of ICI Chennai Center. I request Dr. R. Satya Ma'am, associate professor of civil engineering department to introduce our chief guest. Please ma'am. Good morning everyone and uh, welcome to the one day workshop on design and application of self-compacting concrete. It's my pleasure to introduce our chief guest, uh, Engineer N.G. Murlidharan, Chairman Chennai Centre, Indian Concrete Institute. So regarding his educational qualification, he has completed civil engineering from Madras University and qualified safety professional certified by Nebosh UK. So with this uh, 37 years of professional experience, he has held a wide range of roles from junior engineer to Chief Executive Officer. Uh, he has served as a, uh, he started his career as a, a junior engineer in an, under an architect and as a project engineer with Dalmia, NEP, Micron and Hindustan Motors. And he has held the post of uh, Deputy Manager at Ramco and Chetina. Uh, so he has, uh, he was responsible there, he was responsible for the Redemix concrete and setting up commercial and project based RMC plants. So later he held the post of uh, Senior Vice President, Executive Committee Member for LNT RMC Business, managing their operations, safety projects and maintenance for 13 years. And, fi and, and finally he became the Chief Executive Officer of uh, AC Tech Group for setting up two modern, uh, 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 modern uh, labs and demolition processes uh, plant and five garden based uh, management plant for the Greater Chennai Corporations. Sir has executed metro rail projects, uh, concrete supplies at Delhi and supplied M95 grade of concrete for World, rail, uh, World 1 uh, project. So in 2021, he has been appointed as a chairman, Chennai Centre, ICI. So he has also associ associated project management consultant with a leading cement company for RMC uh, process optimization. To his credit, he has been honoured by SRM University for his contribution in safety and construction. So we are very much happy and delighted to have, hear you from you, sir. I request, sir, to take over the session.
How many of you are interested in the concrete business? All are uh, civil engineers, right? And uh, graduates? Some postgraduates also are there? No? All are graduates. <laughs> Interesting. See, uh, uh, today's workshop on um, self compacting concrete. Um, I would like to tell you brief about uh, concrete. When the concrete industry started, we were hardly using M15 and M20 grade of concrete. Okay. That point of time, only site mix. We used to use uh, one, two, four mix, one, one and a half, three like that. It's all volume batch. Those days, when we do a concreting, if you are uh, able to do about 150 bags or 200 bags in a day, in a day shift, that itself is a good show. Of late, the challenge has increased and uh, building nation need to have on a fast track, lot of bridges coming up. Then the ready mix concrete plant came into picture, way before in 2000. Of course, earlier to 2000 also was there, not in a big way. If you see kind of a city like Chennai, the first ready mix plant came in the year uh, 2000, 1999, okay. So this is how the ready mix industry started in Chennai. Okay, that point of time, uh, we had only four Redimix plants in Chennai. One is LNT, second one was Ramco, third one was RMC India, fourth one was ACC. These are all the four Redimix plants serving for the city Chennai. Okay. That point of time, Swing Stretter, the pioneer in Redimix plant manufacturing, they were manufacturing four plants in a year. Okay. That factory is located in Sri Parmudroni. Sometime I will organize some industrial visit for all you guys also. In fact, recently we did a technovation during their uh, Silver Jubilee celebration. Many colleges participated. Some of SVC could not participate because of prior commitments. Do you know how many plants they are manufacturing today? Any quick guess? Yes, nothing wrong, nothing right. How much? Nothing wrong. Hundreds. Hundred plants per year. They are manufacturing seven plants in a day. Earlier, four plants in a year. You can see the kind of growth happening in the industry. So all these plants produce concrete going to be handled by the civil engineers. Still many people still have a fear whether civil engineers will get a job or not. That's a big problem. Okay. So these industries providing concrete has to be managed by the civil engineers. Uh, when you do a site mix concrete, based on the design that you are uh, already done or learned from the college, how that transforms practically? This is what I am going to address. I have installed more than 50 Redimix plants across the country on various uh, cities, right from Pakistan border to South Extreme and Extreme on Agarthala and also on the Western region of the country. Okay. So I am going to throw light on how the technique to be adopted, what you design in the college what you do a laboratory trial in the mix design and when you practically implement what all the challenges that you are going to face. Okay. So this is what I am going to show you because this is ultimately important not that you learnt is important what you are going to implement later in the industry is very important. Okay. How many of you visited the ready mix plant? I suggest, madam, we need to organize an industrial visit for them. Any civil engineer, they cannot be a successful engineer without visiting a ready mix plant because that is a need of the hour. In fact, I see Chennai Centre can help you in organizing that. That will also help you because whether you are a design engineer in the future, 
whether you are going to be a construction engineer or whether you are going to be a concrete technologist. For all these purposes, you are somehow going to be associated with the ready-mix plant. You need to know the features of the ready-mix plant, what you can do, what you cannot do, what are all the precautions that you need to do in the ready-mix plant. Going to the subject, what is RMC business? In the ready-mix business, 65% of the cost goes under material. Sometimes it is 70%. Depends on the grade of concrete, but minimum 65%. And apart from that, you have some admixers. In site mix concrete, admixer may not be mandatory, but still you can do some kind of a water reducing admixers. Okay, but in ready mix plant, it is must. And batching plant and uh, allied equipments are required for the ready mix business and it has some process controls. So I am going to throw some light on these topics. Okay, And the expectation and challenges in the market. So we need to be cost effective at all the time. Because every time uh, uh, a builder is uh, selling his uh, project as a residential flat or bridges are coming up, they used to have a cost effective solutions so that the overall project cost is being controlled. Okay. And product compliance with quality. Just because of cost uh, parameter, we cannot say that we can compromise on the quality. So you need to ensure that quality parameters are taken care. So timely service. So, the kind of bridges that is being constructed, you might have experienced. I know uh, earlier, I still remember the Gindi Bridge was constructed few years long back. Many of you may have when you are uh, maybe schooling that point of time. So that point of time, it take long time. But nowadays, bridges are happening very fast with uh, precast technology, all this uh, pre-stress technology. It's all cast in the yard and then brought to the job site. So like that. So. For all these things, ready mix plant play a very, very vital role. Okay. Coming to uh, ready mix plant and self compacting concrete. So, self compacting concrete, whatever that you uh, uh, design, it can be successful till it reaches the job site to the structure. When I say to the structure, to the slab or a column or a uh, whatever be the structure, then material play a vital role, <coughs> machinery and the people, all these things play a very vital role, not just material, you get a good material, it is like a food industry, eh? even you get a excellent uh, food grains, you will not get the right product unless you handle them properly, mix them properly, cook them properly, it is the same way, of course people are important coming to material. So, cement. Cement is the important ingredient from the concrete. Okay. To have a cost effective thing, we use the cementitious material. Okay. How many of you are aware that cement is going to uh, uh, take a, a new, new innovation, LC3? Are you guys are aware of it? What are all the different grades of cement? Come again. Unless you interact, you will not be successful. Nothing wrong. See, as a student, you can make a mistake. Moment you complete graduation, you become an engineer. If you make a mistake, engineer is also doing a mistake. Try to understand. As long as a student, you can. No problem. If I do a mistake, people will not tolerate. Right. I say, what is this? What are all the different grades of concrete? 33 grade of cement, 43 grade of cement, 53. Fantastic. Nowadays, 33 grade cement is not coming. Only 43 and 53 grade cement is coming. Okay. Future, the LC3 cement is going to come, which is limestone calcinated 
displacement towards the environment with a green building concept. So already research is over, trial is over, testing is over, building has been constructed and cement plant have done the trial production. Why I am saying this, you need to away. By the time you reach the industry, maybe 5-6 years down the line, you will come across that cement. Okay. So, cementitious material, we are using fly ash, GGBS. What is GGBS? Ground granulated glass furnace slag. What is UFGGBS? It is ultra fine. Normally, cement has a blind of 3000, okay? GGBS, almost 4000 blinds. 4000 blinds is further finer. Blinds are all Don't think it is a uh, big technology. I want you to understand. Like a talcum powder, it is very fine. It will, uh, once you just uh, blow it, it will just uh, flow in the air. So, to that extent, they grind it. More grinding, more energy. Ultra fine GGBS, any guess what will be the fineness? Sorry, micrometer. 10,000 blinds, 12,000 blinds. Okay. These are all the fine blinds, more the fine, more demand of the water. Try to understand. Okay. And micro silica. Micro silica is expensive. And micro silica can be replaced by ultra fine GGBS. And coming to aggregates, aggregates earlier we used to uh, have river sand. River sand is almost banned in most of the state, except a few part of West Bengal, few part of Orissa. Still, uh, uh, we could able to witness river sand. In fact. Uh, Last month I went for a plant uh, audit in Orissa, Katar. So where I see a river sand, it was like a golden color. Those days we used to use that. Nowadays it is not available in the state of Tamil Nadu. It's banned. And uh, crush sand, M sand, there is a kind of wash sand. Okay. If you see the wash sand, generally when you crush a rock, manufacture the sand, to remove the fine particle, they used to wash the sand. Okay. So we had a factory in uh, outskirts of Delhi. So I was handling the uh, technical part of that business. So when we were washing that sand, so I was experiencing some challenges in pumping the concrete. Why I am sharing this? When you wash the sand, the fine particle which is sticky with the aggregates, okay, so that sometimes acts as a lubricant when you pump the concrete. When you wash that, then that lubrication is not available. So when I was using that, especially in the Jaipur Metro project, I was experiencing that problem. So don't think the wash hand is good, yes, wash hand is good then you can remove the sticky material, but to what extent? So that you need to be aware. And of course, 10, 10, 10 mm and 20 mm are here, commonly used in the ready mix concrete business as a material. Admixer, you have different type of admixers, especially for self-compacting concrete. For high-rise building like uh, World One Tower, somebody was introducing to me. I did that World One Tower with M95 grade of concrete. M15, M20 is where, M95 is where. M95, we are the first people, when I was uh, uh, working for Lafarge, we did that. You know, for that we used to do only cylinder for testing. And for testing that cylinders, the equipment was not available in India. We have imported the CTM itself. And you cannot witness that kind of testing with an act die. And you need to have a ear muffler because it develops a lot of sound when it is breaking and it can throw some kind of a dust also so those CTMs are also protected okay I think uh, in India only uh, uh, Lafarge had a thing in Mumbai so we were uh, doing that project M95 grade of concrete 
pumping concrete up to 126 floors. Okay. When sharing at this point of time, the admixer that we are using, we were using the two pack system, where we are using admixer separately, retarder separately. Okay. This is how we used to play with that to get the self compacting concrete for the higher floors. Water, of course, uh, water play a role. Uh, you need to be very, very careful. Uh, there are cases, I have also used the recycled water. When you use the recycled water, it is alkaline in nature. We need to be very careful when we are using the recycled water used after washing the concrete. It will have alkaline in nature plus that will also have some retarders, some kind of admixer wash material that may influence in terms of setting. So we need to be very, very careful. So, and addition of material in the transit and the job site, because some people, some clients may say that cleverly, I know that waterproofing is safe for my construction and they tend to use the waterproofing admixers either through the transit mixer or at the job site once the truck mixer reaches to the uh, construction places. That point of time you need to be very, very careful because those waterproofing admixer will also have retarders. If you do excess of those things, the concrete will not set, even after two days, three days. This is what happens practically. I have experienced and I hope you will also experience when you are, are uh, starting your job. So, coming to cement. Huh? So, when you are using cement, every cement is a good cement, every cement is a bad cement. I have used almost all the brands of cement in the country, including the cement from Pakistan. So, uh, I cannot blame the cement companies because whatever the cement that is being produced is based on the limestone available in that particular uh, mines. I don't want to name it, a company. A company is getting one particular uh, uh, brand of cement to Chennai from two different sources, uh, I can say three different sources. Three different sources behave three different manner. All are 43 grade only. All are 53 grade only. Okay. You need to be very, very careful. Sometimes they add